Okay, so welcome back. If you remember last time we managed to get the uh, engine and gearbox out of the Caterham. Um, had a little think about it and um, I think possibly it's because we lost all the oil and it got hot. But um, I've decided while we've, um, while we've got the engine and gearbox out, we might as well take the engine and the gearbox apart and uh, have a look. Um, I mean, I've never done one before. I've never done a Type 9 gearbox before, but um, I'm thinking, well, how hard can it be? Um, so, um, and it's always quite interesting to have a little look in a gearbox in your own it? So, uh, I've done gearboxes before. They, they sound quite daunting, but they're sort of like um, just big Meccano kits, really. As long as you make sure you keep everything in order, it's all okay. And if you've got a diagram, even better. Um, so what we've got to do, the first thing we've got to do is take the gearbox off of the engine. It's a bit complicated, more complicated on this one because this is a dry sumped engine and the oil tank is contained within the within the bell housing. So um, you've got a pipe that connects the, the tank to the engine here and then at the top to the uh, scavenge pump. So my plan it may well be that we'll change all the oil anyway, but my plan at the moment is to try and um, swap, put that pipe down here and this pipe up there, and maybe not lose too much oil. But um, let's have a go and see how we get on. Got quite a bit of oil to clean up off the floor, so there's a bit of oil came out. Um, we'll, yeah, we'll. Um, anyway, so so we've done that. We just got to remember to put that back when we uh, when we uh, put the gearbox back on. So, but all the oil is contained, it won't leak out now. So I'm just going to move these out there and clean the floor and then we can um, carry on. Okay, so we put the engine and gearbox on the floor because it can't fall off the floor. So uh, I'm always wary when it's suspended in the air that it might just fall off and um, either break something or hurt me. Um, so, uh, No, once I've, once I've done this before, I've, I've done anything before, so next time I'll know how heavy it is and uh, how to, uh, what we can get away with. So that's released now from the engine. So all we've got to do is pull, pull it out uh, with the main shaft. Ah. So there we go, that's out of the engine. I'm probably thinking I'll um, have a look at the clutch while it's out. Um, ideal opportunity to have a look. Um, like I say, this a lot, a lot of this car is a bit of an unknown really, so um, um, we might as well have a look while we've, we're this far out. Okay, so I've got the uh, bell housing off now, so we're just literally with a gearbox. Um, what we really need to do is get this uh, this remote piece off here from the shaft. Um, this I've never done one of these gearboxes before, so um, it's going to be a voyage of discovery. Um, we'll just have to uh, we'll see how many mistakes I make. I believe we have to get this this piece out here and there is a there's a split pin in there oh, sorry there's a roll pin that we need to get to so what we need to do is we need to engage a gear to get that to go back so we can um, there we go
a little plunger in there. There's a detent that in there to so when it locks it in gear. I don't know how I'm gonna get that out. Slightly little indent, so when you put it into gear, it locks it into gear. What I'm going to do is put a magnet in there. So hopefully, when I knock it out, it gets picked up by the magnet rather than falls from the bottom of the box. Let's put them all together so they're all in order. So there we go, that's all apart now. Um, I'm sorry, I, I had to take uh, this hub off in the press and uh, I forgot to film it. So um, I'm gonna get everything cleaned up, we'll lay it all out and then we'll inspect to see what, what we need to do. Okay, so that's the gearbox, all the parts are all laid out, cleaned up and laid out and um, I've had a quick look to see what's damaged. And the only thing I can find is the fourth and fifth bulk rings. Um, I don't know if you can see on there, there's like a piece in, in the top, in, 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 in there. Um, it's broken off on that one. 
and uh, basically your blocker rings in your synchro hub um the little ones here like that they slip through there and they hold the they hold these in place so that when you when you engage gear basically the 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 bulk ring slips onto that um on that on that shoulder slows it down um slows the gear down so that you can so basically it'll engage straight in with that so or so it doesn't slow it down it synchronizes the speed of the synchro ring with the gear and it slips in and then that's how it goes into gear so that one has got a piece broken out um this one has got all three are broken out and then i've also noticed that on one of these uh there i don't know if you can see that just there the ring is split so i think what happened is i don't know and i don't know why it would happen um ham-fisted gear changes maybe um they would have broken broken those and then that would allow the blocker ring to come out and i would imagine maybe a blocker ring um certainly those um those so blocker bar i mean so those blocker bars some of them look decidedly worn or, or knocked about so and i found uh three of these were in the in the bottom of the case so um yeah so that that's uh whether that would have happened don't know how that would happen but uh anyway they they so they need replacing for that third and fourth bulk rings need doing everything else looks okay so uh first and second bulk rings are absolutely fine uh the fifth gear one um that all looks okay um and they all grip on quite nicely um you can always tell when they're worn because um so you can see that see that hub that's got a like a, a like a chamfered on it um and basically what it does is as you change gear you're pushing that into the gear to synchronize the speed of this gear with the synchronizer um and when there's no shoulder can you see there's a there's a gap between there if that gap is in non-existence what happens is the ring can't bite on the shoulder and uh, then that's when that's worn so um but that they're they're all okay but third and fourth are broken so um they're never going to work so uh uh the only other thing we're going to do is we're going to change all the seals uh there's a seal in the back um here on the tail shaft which is um on here somewhere um well it's actually where the where the prop shaft goes in we'll change that seal uh, i'm going to change all the bearings i've looked at the bearings they don't look too bad but while we've got it all apart we might as well get new ones um there's loads one at the front the needle bearings that go in the front here um they'd all fallen out and they're in the bottom but that would that would probably they probably fell out because of when i took it apart so uh um yeah So there we go, that's the gearbox dismantled. Um, I apologise for those that do this all the time. I did have a bit of a struggle getting it apart, but then I've never taken one apart before. And um, you've always got to have a go, haven't you? And, uh, and see how we, how we go. Um, but we got it all apart. We didn't break anything. Well, I don't think it was me that broke the bolt rings. We found something wrong. Um, so I'm going to go away and order all the parts now. So uh, next time you see this gearbox, we'll be, we'll be building it back up. Um, but uh, thanks for watching. Um, not sure if the gearbox is going to be the next video, but um, I've got a few other things uh, in the pipeline. So uh, I want you to look out for those. So uh, if you haven't done so already, like this video, please subscribe to my channel. And um, remember, how hard can it be?